I'm doing a mod here for this um, control shaft set on the CNC head for the belt CP. I think it's also on the Honeybee King 2 as well. I don't know if you find, but I do a lot if I have a crash that these bloody things always break. So what I've done is I've removed this, this um, shaft off the fly bar control arm here. And what I've done is I've put one of these ball threads. I'll just you just have to worm that hole out slightly on the end here. I put one of these balls through here with a thread on the end, and I put a washer on with a nut. So I've just used one of these push bars which comes down and this ball bar which was on here is still the same one but I've just turned it around so instead of facing inwards towards the main shaft it now faces outwards you just screw that back in and use and now I've got a, the metal bar going up with the two plastic connectors on each end and they just push straight onto your ball joints. I've still got this plastic one on there, I haven't removed it yet. See now this is this is redundant now. I need to take it off, obviously. So I can't see any reasons why this isn't going to work. It's not perfectly straight down the shaft <coughs> but it's possible to make it straight all you need is a is the ball join the same one what I've used down the bottom but unfortunately I don't have another one and you can use the same one up the top here just to bring it out slightly and it's come out another I don't know four or five mil and that ball join would do it out the top, that, then that would make this push bar completely straight with the main shaft. But I can't see any reasons why it's not going to work like it is. I'll just turn it around so you can see. That's the existing one. I haven't done this side yet. As you can see, it's still got this alley bar going across here. We have to take that off. This has to come off completely. It's just a Phillips screw on the end and you just use a pair of grippers on this side just to grip it or you can just remove your paddle and uh, remove the whole section and take it off that way and put it back on and that's what I've done. And once you've removed this you just have to um, worm this end hole out a bit. I mean it's soft alley anyway so I just used a real, just a small um, uh, screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver and just wormed it out slightly. Then your ball join will fit through there then nicely. You need to put a washer in and a nut. The same nut. The same nut is used at the base of the um, the main gear, which goes through the base into your main shaft. It's exactly the same nut. That nut fits on the end of those ball, ball joints with a thread on the end. I used I used a ball join off a swash plate. Which I had a spare one, so you just use one of those, and that nut fits on that thread perfectly, which is here. You know, and there's a nut there, there's a ball join, put that through there, do your nut up, and use one of your, because I've done a direct servo mod, I had plenty of these spare bars. So I've just used one of those and um, you just get your bar, lay your, the old um, control shaft down, get your bar, one moment, 
lay your bar next to it or put it on top like that. You have to use two hands, I can't use two hands at a minute. And that's how you get your length. You can get your length perfectly. Just screw it to its perfect length. And then once you've done that, you just clip it on the top here and you clip it on the base. Base here. Let's clip it on the base here, and away you go. I mean, I can't see any reasons why that's not going to work. I'll just plug it in. <coughs> see, as you can see, that's. It's working out fine. It's probably better because it does get rid of some of that slight slop because you get a bit of a, a bit of slack in that plastic which is used to just clip on those ball joints. And sometimes they actually used to come off those ball joints at the top on the fly bar. It used to go on like that. So your blade clamps through here. This is a aluminium bar that I've removed. And sometimes this this plastic loop which slots onto that ball used to actually push off that sometimes and end up on this bar. So it's got rid of that problem as well. And it's also got rid of the if you do have a slight accident you know obviously you know you're not going to get this to break and repair or buy what you can't repair it to go and buy some more and now you've got your your metal rod going straight up there which doesn't go around the blade clamp at all so i just got to do the other side and i can give it a test flight then and see what the results are but i can't see any reason at the moment why it's not going to do just as good job, or if not better, than what it was before. If there's any questions or any comments, please let me know. Thanks.